Welcome back everyone. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded last. Sorry about that, but hopefully now I'm back on track and I can actually start uploading at least one video a week. There's been a lot going on since I've been gone, and I know you can tell by the way in that I haven't been doing so great, but right now we're getting back on track. I appreciate you coming back. This is going to be a fun episode, so let's just get right into it. I think I got my first special package. Look at that. What this is, is a couple of people who know that I love grab bags and mystery things have said that they're going to try and randomly send me some t-shirts in the mail. I have no idea what it is, but I love a random t-shirt to come in the mail. Why don't we tear into this and see what we got. What is inside? Looks like two different t-shirts. I'll let you see it before I do. Vincent L. Gambini, oh my goodness, from my cousin Vinny. Vinny Gambini. That's awesome, I love that movie. This is such a fun t-shirt, I love that movie. Let's see what else we got, it looks like we got two. Can you see that? <laughs> Slapping the bass. Oh my goodness. I think I got this one because I'm not a fan of fish. I'm actually pretty, very much not a fan of fish. It's a pretty funny slogan though, so it's a fun t-shirt even though it's kind of crazy and kind of surprising. Okay, I didn't even realize it when I first opened this shirt, but this is apparently a movie quote from a movie that I actually like, but I didn't remember this part. It's from the movie I Love You Man with Jason Siegel and Paul Rudd, and apparently Paul Rudd plays the bass guitar. So he says, I slap at the bass. Slap at the bass, mama. Uh, you slap at the bass, mama. There you go. Slap at the bass, mama. I slap at the bass, mama. Please don't do that. So that's a lot of fun, even though it does hold true that I'm not a fan of fish. And this other shirt, obviously this is from My Cousin Vinny, which is one of my favorite movies. Look at that, he's representing Utes. The, the two what? Oh, what was that word? Uh, what word? Two what? What? Did you say Utes? Yeah, two Utes. What is a Ute? Oh, excuse me, Your Honor. Two Utes. Like I said, representing Utes since 1992. These are some awesome t-shirts. Now I knew I had something coming in the mail, but I didn't know exactly what it was. So when I opened it, it was as much a surprise to me as it was to you guys. That was a lot of fun. That was an awesome surprise from someone who knows I love random grab bags and someone who knows I love t-shirts. So for that, I wanna say thank you. Now let's go on to the next segment where we actually have our first special guest. It's someone that I told could be a special guest a long time ago. Let's see how that went. Hey guys, I'm here with Rick. This is actually a video that was requested uh, several months ago, but that was the time when I wasn't able to do vlogging for a couple of months because of the personal family reasons. So we're catching up on this one. So it's really good to have Rick here. I must say he was pretty much my first fan. Yes. He's my biggest fan, I believe. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm very lucky to have him. And I know this may seem strange, but we're actually kind of related. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how are you doing? I'm good. I appreciate you having me on here, and uh, it's a little nerve-wracking. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be nerve-wracking at all. <laughs> Nobody can sound worse than I do, trust me. <laughs> no, yeah, you, I thought it would be fun to be on here yeah. and everything. So. You, do, you always do good comments, and you're always a good fan. <laughs> you're always building me up, so I appreciate that. Well, that's what we're here for. Yeah. All but, right. Uh, yeah, uh, I just think it's neat that you're so into t-shirts and everything like that, too. Yeah, t-shirts and health. That's what i got to focus on. Yeah. Chris asked me to tell him about my favorite t-shirt, and this is, I like these rogue t-shirts. They're tribal, and so they're kind of spandexy. So when you're working out and whatnot, they kind of form fit, but they also wick the sweat away. And my favorite uh, uh, CrossFit athlete is this guy, and uh, he's Canadian, and he has a big beard, so that's why they have that <laughs> design on it. But uh, yeah, my brother actually, Adam, uh, 
got this for me for my birthday. Well, that's so, cool. Yeah, yeah. So these are probably my favorite. So if there are any uh, Chris about t-shirts fans out there that want to get a guest a gift, then rogue gift cards would work. <laughs> <laughs> so well, yeah, everyone will keep that in mind. Yeah, definitely. Please. <laughs> So as you guys know, I'm trying to get myself healthy and I have all these goals. Rick is a very healthy individual and oh, <laughs> we're actually, he just moved into a new home and he's actually going to set this up as his home gym. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. Uh, obviously it's in disarray right now. Not everything's in here, but if uh, Chris, if you look down and just kind of see, we kind of have a, a CrossFit type setup we're going to go for um, the bumper plates over here. We've got horse stall mats are great for if you're going to be dropping weights on the floor, they'll yeah. cushion that. And in that room, I have to take apart my squat rack, but uh, uh, that'll be what we use in order to, you know, do squats and pull-ups mm -hmm. and uh, bench press maybe and things like that. And of course also a plyo box for jumping on or doing sit squats and, and everything. And so. This area is going to be for that purpose for the gym because, like you said, the, the channel is about being healthy and trying to have healthy habits and having a gym inside your house kind of helps you avoid the excuse of not going to the gym. Yeah. And it's a great way. I, I need a way to de-stress and if I can't go running or something, I, I really enjoy lifting. And uh, it's a great it's a great habit to get in. So That's and you know really when good. you work out, it's hard to, it's hard to want to eat unhealthy because then you feel like yeah. you're wasting your time. That's so. true. When you're working out, I usually do eat a lot healthier. Yeah. Than when I'm just allowing myself to do whatever I want. Yeah, you feel like you're wasting your time when you're yeah eating the whole pizza or something, yeah. and then going to lift weights. So anyway, so uh, maybe we'll do an update after we get it set up. All right. Want. That sounds we'll good. Not that this is, our, our way is going to be the end all be all by any means, but you know, it's a way that we're trying to work for us. This is definitely good advice for me because as you guys know, I'm trying to get myself healthier. I'm struggling with this every day. I'm going to be setting up my own home gym, so this is some good information to help me. I hope you guys have found this information enjoyable. All right, guys, it was really fun to have Rick on this episode. I think one of the reasons that it was requested is because we've exchanged gifts of t-shirts with things printed on them and each other's pictures <laughs> yeah exactly and hopefully in a future episode we'll be able to do that it's just not the appropriate time of year right now for that um i do appreciate you being on the show and i'm sure we'll have you again yeah i appreciate it do you have any fun. final comments yeah megan you're next <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching this it feels so good to be back i know i'm getting back on the right track now and i know i'm going to be releasing at least one video a week Plus, I have maybe a few surprises coming up. I hope you'll enjoy that. I want to say thank you to Rick for being the special guest on this episode. And thank you for the person who suggested it. If you'd like to be on an episode or know someone you'd like to see on an episode, make a suggestion in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to get them on. I always like to have people on. It's fun to get different opinions on t-shirts and life and whatever else. I really enjoyed getting those t-shirts in the mail. That was a fun surprise. You know I love my grab bags, and you know there may be another grab bag coming up pretty soon. Thank you guys once again for watching. I appreciate any suggestions or comments I can get. I'm always trying to improve, and hopefully once I get this thing to where I'm actually doing it weekly, I'll be improving every week. Just let me know what you think. I'd love to get comments below. Thank you guys for everything, and I will see you next t-shirt. <laughs> we look like we're like on each other. Okay.